Yet another Scottish person has been arrested for things that they posted online. Because unfortunately, especially after the last hate crime bill uh, got passed, Scotland is one of the most authoritarian countries in Europe. And the funny thing about this one is uh, she was arrested and taken in question to the exact same police station I was when I was arrested for Nazi pug. So it's in Cope Bridge, it's in my neck of the woods. Feminist campaigner charged with hate crime. A leading feminist campaigner has been charged with a hate crime for posting allegedly homophobic and transphobic material on social media. Marion Miller from Airdrie was charged under the Malicious Communications Act for tweets posted in 2019 and 2020 and could face two years in jail if convicted for tweets. It is understood one tweet included a picture of a ribbon in the purple, white and green of the suffragette movement. Apparently, this, apparently the police were claiming that the ribbon was arranged like a noose and that's why the tweet, tweet was threatening. I haven't seen the tweet myself, but I doubt that. Uh, Miss Miller, who has autistic twin boys and who runs an accountancy firm uh, and accountancy business, was bailed to appear to Glasgow Sheriff Court on July the 20th. It's really weird that they're not using Airdrie Sheriff Court, but they're taking it to Glasgow instead. She is a supporter of sex-based rights for women and opposes simplifying transgender self-identification. Her critics claim she is a trans-exclusionary radical feminist or TERF. After a two-hour interview at Coatbridge Police Station, I hope she had legal counsel, uh, she was met by supporters, many wearing t-shirts with the women won't wished hashtag she promotes. She tweeted later, I've been charged, I'm absolutely gutted, I can't describe in words the stress this is causing me and uh, yeah, having a charge hovering over your head where, and basically the way things in Scotland go now, like if you get charged for that, you're getting found guilty. They've managed to structure the laws in such a way where there is massive grey areas where the, the conviction rate for that charge is... I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 100%. Uh, Marion Calder of For Women Scotland, which campaigns for sex-based rights, says that the police's decision to press charges has been, had been incredibly disappointing. It's also a violation of your human rights under Article 10 of the European Convention of Human Rights. But whenever you bring that up to the police, they waffle and waffle and go, blah, blah, blah. well, technically it's not because Section 2 says, blah, blah, blah. yeah, nonsense. Uh, she said, Marion is naturally upset that the police have decided to press ahead with charges. The past few weeks have been a nightmare for Marion and her family, and it seems there is no end in sight. Sadly, in Scotland, it seems both free speech and women's rights are under attack. <laughs> it pains me to say it, but Scotland is not a free country. We don't have freedom of speech here. One of the most basic fundamental human rights, we don't have it. The government has taken that right away. Freedom of speech is not protected. Apparently, uh, American tourists were actually being warned <laughs> about when they come to Scotland, be careful of what you say. Fucking, they were getting the same like travel warnings that they give out for places like North Korea and China. <laughs> And that man, which is, I mean, it's it's sad that this is what our, what our country's become. But you know, hey ho, join the Scottish Libertarians, and we can trust me. Trust me, we'll fix it. Oh, we're going to repeal so many laws. Anyway, Marion is very grateful for the support and would like to thank those who have stood by her. The group said it planned to discuss the way forward with Miss Miller and her lawyers today and it's expected to be fundraising and appeal for legal costs. That's fine. That's the exact same thing I had to do because uh, even though it's like, oh, you have a right to a lawyer, you need to apply for legal aid, though legal aid will use any trick under its belt to not give you legal aid. For example, Sue had an inheritance from a family member um, during my trial and the condition for her receiving this inheritance was that she used it for a house. Um, obviously, like lots of people put little clauses like that in their wills and stuff, you know, to basically prevent their their uh, grandchildren and great grandchildren from uh, go, going to the casino and pissing it up the wall. <laughs> but basically, I wasn't married to Sue. But the the thing that was funny about all of that is they say, oh, because she has that money, you're not getting legal aid. But also, we're going to demand that she appears as a witness against you in court. Yeah, that was a, that's a great system. She has to pay your legal fees because uh, because because you're in a relationship with each other, but your relationship is not strong enough for her as for us to use her as a witness against you. 
Our, our justice system's absolutely broken. Police Scotland confirmed that a 50-year-old woman has been arrested and charged in connection with the online communication offences. That was very nice of them to confirm that they have, in fact, violated her human rights. Um, it added she has been released on an undertaking to appear at court at a later date. A report will be sent to the Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service. Ms Miller has not been charged under the recent hate crime bill passed at Holyrood, which she campaigned against. Oh, that's amazing. I've, but I thought we needed all these brand new hate speech laws, you know, because all these things weren't covered yet. She's been charged under laws that have been there for a while, but laws that still need to be scrapped nonetheless. Now, I don't know much about her opinions. I'm going to guess that because she is a feminist, there is a lot of things that we would disagree on. Um, You know, maybe her opinions on, you know, the gays and the trans you know i i've got a feeling that we would disagree on a lot there as well but despite all of that she still has the human right to say these views post them online talk about them campaign for them that is the human right of freedom of speech if you don't like her views then counter them with your own speech by arresting people for you know speaking out against your ideology you just make your ideology look weak where you i mean Basically, if there's an ideology that arrests and charges dissenters, it's not an ideology I want. It's not an ideology I want. Even if I heard nothing at all about the ideology and someone went, they arrest people for speaking out against them, I'd be like, that's all I need to hear. Nope. That's that's a no from me. Don't, don't you want to hear about it? Nope. Nope. Don't want to hear about it. Don't want anything to do with it. If it arrests dissenters, it's a failed ideology because it's so scared of people speaking out against it. You know, it's, it's like a boxer saying he's the greatest in the world, but then he refuses to fight anyone. <laughs> it's like, I've got a feeling you might be lying. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I'm sick of my taxes being wasted on absolute crap like this. I'm sick of the Scottish government constantly violating human rights and then just getting away with it. And then just getting away with it. And you see, you see people in the Scottish government all the time going, oh, but China this and Russia that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you, you violate human rights too. You you can't talk like you have a cheek to talk. You're always violating human rights. You're arresting people for offending people. Offense is something you have absolutely no control over whatsoever, right? There are a lot of emotionally unstable people out there. There are a lot of them. And anything that comes out of your mouth could offend them. You could walk up to one of them and say, good morning, and it could offend them, right? Offense is probably one of the most uncontrollable emotions and as everyone talks about it won't create a chilling effect it won't create a chilling effect it has it already has created a chilling effect people are now too scared to talk about their views openly and in public which is the point of freedom of speech people are now too scared and that's i mean if that's the country that you want under the snp then you know keep voting for them but it's not the type of country I want. I want people to be able to, even though, I mean, she's a feminist, so we would disagree on very many things, she still has a right to freedom of speech, just like everybody else. Right? That's the point of rights. They are equal. They are universal. Unfortunately, the Scottish government and the SNP don't feel the same way. And the reason for that is we don't have freedom of speech in Scotland. A very important, fundamental, basic human right we don't have it. The Scottish government has taken that away from us because they don't want us questioning them. That's that's the end goal. It always, I mean, that was what happened in China. That's like everybody thinks that China just happened overnight. It didn't. There was baby steps. You know, they didn't just wake up one morning and go right. All the rights gone. All the food gone. <laughs> No, it, di it didn't just happen overnight. It was little baby steps. I mean, the first laws regarding speech in communist China were uh, basically, see, even though China, you know, China is a big place. There's lots of ethnic ethnicities in China. And the first laws were to stop racism and discrimination between the ethnicities to preserve social harmony and stability of the great and mighty China. And then those laws got expanded and improved and enhanced and modernized and now you cannot criticize the Chinese government at all. You will go to prison if you do. And that was the purpose of those laws. And also we've gathered that in the modern day, uh, China uh, definitely does not care about its minorities unless it's killing them. But yeah, we basically Europe is following the Chinese model where they start, oh no, don't guys, it's for, it's for, it's for racism. 
So racism, the only reason you'd be against these loans is because you're racist. It's nothing to do with the fact that we are following the exact Chinese model where the ultimate end goal is to prevent the criticism of the government. No, 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 no. You, you, you just... Yeah, you, you don't actually care about freedom and prosperity of your people. You, you just want to say the N word. Yeah, nobody's buying that anymore. Nobody's buying that excuse. We can see what you're doing. We can see what you're doing. It's my job just to keep pointing it out.